Hey guys, welcome to Miss Allen's Creative Crayons. Creative Crayons, who could the crayons be? That's you guys. I'm so happy that you're here. Welcome to this new YouTube channel of mine where I want to interact with you guys. I miss you all, all of you. Um, personally, I've taught all of you from grade two up to grade eight. I've taught all of you. Um, I miss you guys so much. Uh, most of you I taught in kindergarten. And some of you I've taught in grade three. I taught in grade six. Well, for a little bit. I was in sub for a little while. But now I'm here with you online on YouTube. And I hope that you're doing so well. So stay tuned, guys. I have some news to share with you. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. I keep getting interrupted here at home. You don't see it. Little popcorn. Little popcorn. Okay, this is what I want to do. I'm going to read the story of the page first, and then I will show you the pictures, okay? So when I'm reading to you, you have to try and think of what the picture might look like. And then I'll show you the picture and see if you were right, okay? Here we go. Popcorn was a little white dog. He was white all over, white as popcorn popping in a pan. Popcorn lived on the same street as the firehouse. He liked the firehouse better than anything. So Popcorn went there every day. Fireman Bill was his friend. Every day, Fireman Bill said, Come in, Popcorn, come in. Sometimes, the firehouse was quiet. Then, Fireman Bill let Popcorn run around inside. He let Popcorn play with a fire hose around and under, under and around. Sometimes, Fireman Bill let Popcorn sit up on top of the fire engine. One day, he let Popcorn go up the ladder, too. But then, Fireman Bill had to go up and bring Popcorn down. One day, Fireman Bill took Popcorn down the pole just for the ride. Popcorn was so happy. I just feel like a firehouse dog, he said to himself. I feel like a firehouse dog, said Popcorn, but I do not look like a firehouse dog. I wish I had spots. Popcorn looked at himself in the looking glass. No spots. He was white all over, white as popcorn popping in a pan. Sometimes the firehouse was quiet, but sometimes it was not. Clang, 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 rush, 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 ding, dong. Then the fire engines went clanging and rushing out. Popcorn wanted to run after the fire engines, but they were big and they were fast. So Popcorn just ran a little way. Then he went back to the firehouse and sat there till the fire engines came back. One morning, Popcorn got to the firehouse just as Fireman Bill got there. Woof, woof, said Popcorn. Good morning to you, too, said Fireman Bill. You do like our firehouse popcorn, don't you? Woof, woof, said Popcorn. Well, come in, said Fireman Bill. Come in. Popcorn ran inside. 
He jumped up on the fire engine. He played with the fire hose. He looked at the ladder, but he did not go up. Fireman Bill had to laugh at Popcorn. <laughs> you want to be a firehouse dog, don't you? He said. Woof, said Popcorn. Do you want to ride with me someday on the hook and ladder truck? Woof, 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 said Popcorn. Fireman Bill laughed again. Well then, he said. Try to get some spots, Popcorn. You get a spot for every fire you go to, you know. A spot for every fire? Popcorn did not know that Fireman Bill was joking. The little dog was so happy. He was going to get some spots. He was going to look like a firehouse dog. Soon after that, there was a fire. Clang, clang, rush, rush, ding, dong. The fire engines went clanging and rushing out. This time, Popcorn was right behind the fire engines. He was going to the fire, too. Today, he was going to try to get his spot. Clang! Down the street went the fire engines. Woof! Popcorn was right behind. The fireman ran here and there with the hose, with the ladders. Popcorn wanted to help. He ran around, too, under the ladders, around and around the hose. And soon, the fire was out. Popcorn ran all the way home. He ran right to the looking glass, and he looked at himself. No spot. He was white all over, white as popcorn popping in a pan. Popcorn was sad. Maybe next time, he said. Clang, clang, clang. The next time was the next day. Rush, rush, ding dong. Out went the fire engines, clanging and rushing. Clang, clang. Up the streets and down the streets. Woof, woof. A house was on fire. A big old house that no one lived in. The firemen ran here and there with the hose with the ladders. Popcorn wanted to help. He ran here and there too, under the ladders, around the firemen. And soon, the fire was out. Popcorn ran all the way home. He ran straight to the looking glass. No spot. He was white all over. White as popcorn, popping in a pan. Popcorn was so very sad. I will try one more time, he said. Just one more time. The next time came soon. Clang, rush, ding dong, ding dong, out went the fire engines. Woof, woof, out went popcorn right behind them. This time, a little red house was on fire. The firemen ran here and there with a hose, with the ladders. But this time, Popcorn did not run around. He sat and looked. Popcorn saw the firemen go into the house. He saw them come out with a table, with a lamp with a big looking glass. He saw the firemen go in. He saw them come out with a bird, with a TV set, with a box of books.
Oh, said Popcorn. So that's how to help. And he ran into the house too. Woof, woof, said Popcorn. I can't see in here. A popcorn did see something, something the fireman could not see. So popcorn took it and he ran out of the house. Look at that little dog, a man called. Then everyone called out, look, look at that little dog. Our little girl ran over to popcorn. My doll, she said. Oh, my doll, my doll. The girl gave the doll a big hug. Thank you, little dog, she said. And she gave Popcorn a big hug, too. Soon, the fire was out. Popcorn ran over to Fireman Bill. Fireman Bill looked at Popcorn and laughed. <laughs> Come here, Popcorn, he said. Come and look. He took the little dog over to the looking glass. Popcorn looked at himself. What a surprise! Spots and spots! Not one or two or three. He had spots all over, just like a firehouse dog. Popcorn did not run home this time. This time, Popcorn got to ride all the way back to the firehouse, way up high on the hook and ladder, right next to Fireman Bill. Wasn't that an awesome story? The end. That's what he's always saying. So... What did we learn about Little Popcorn? That is a good question that I could do in another assignment. Um, I can ask you questions and you have to tell me what the answers are. Maybe. It's up to your teacher. So I see this white fluff on my camera. Thank you so much, guys, for listening. This is one of my favorite books. It's about courage and never, ever give up. Never give up your dreams. If you guys want to do more than what you can, do it. If you want to be that awesome basketball player, do it. If you want to be that cool teacher, do it. Do anything that you want. Popcorn's dream. Did Popcorn get his dream right away? He had to learn. He had to learn what to do, and he did it, and he earned it. Um... Even me, being a teacher, I always wanted to be a teacher. And it took a long, hard road to get there. Learning is not easy all the time. It's hard. You have to work for it. Little Popcorn proved himself, and I know that you guys can too. <sighs> Stay safe, you guys. Stay healthy. Take care. Love you. And until next time, bye, guys. Bye. Bye.